off-grid Scottish Isles, remote desert tribes, and hidden African villages. You'll never guess how these places are finding freedom in renewable energy and sparking grassroots revolutions in the process. Get ready to be inspired as we tour community-powered clean energy projects, changing the game in surprising ways. Indigenous Solar Microgrid Powers Up Peru Across the Andes in Peru, the Ashaninka Indigenous Group sought to gain energy independence after facing unreliable diesel deliveries. In 2014, they partnered with nonprofit Electrify to install a solar microgrid serving over 1,500 citizens across six remote villages. Unique among microgrids, this one is 100% community owned and managed. Villagers receive training to maintain the system so technical skills and jobs stay local. Rooftop solar panels, a large ground mount array, and battery storage provide clean power around the clock. On rainy days when the sun is low, the microgrid smoothly switches to hydroelectric backup from a local river turbine. Today, the Ashaninka enjoy lights, devices, refrigerator medicine storage, and income from activities like welding and carpentry powered by their solar sovereignty. The project has connected an entire people while inspiring other indigenous groups to build their own renewable microgrids. It shows how thoughtful technical solutions can empower native populations to take energy control into their own hands. Farming sunshine in the California desert. In California's sweltering Sonoran Desert, cattle rancher Bill Hewlett noticed his unfenced lands faced dim prospects, except for one abundant resource. Starting in the 1980s, Hewlett leased arid parcels to solar companies, kickstarting North America's first utility-scale solar farm on the flat, dry lake bed north of Los Angeles. Soon neighboring farms followed suit, leasing once vacant desert for solar installations that blend seamlessly with grazing. Today, over a dozen ranching families derive income from hosting several huge solar plants, totaling over 1,000 megawatt, enough juice for hundreds of thousands of homes. Known as the Antelope Valley Solar Ranchers, these multi-generational farming families have ensured their ranches' futures by diversifying revenues through renewable energy partnerships. In doing so, they transformed desolate scrubland into a flourishing hop for solar power in California and beyond, all while keeping rural lands and lifestyles intact through creative land stewardship deals. Talk about farming sunshine. Scottish Island goes 100% renewable off-grid. Out in the wild North Atlantic lies the remote Isle of Eyeg, a broodingly beautiful Scottish island just a hop from mainland Scotland. For decades, fuel had to be barged in for Eyg's meager hydro plant, often disrupting life when bad weather halted deliveries. Tired of instability, in 1997 islanders banded together to purchase their island from absent landlords. In the two decades since, through dog persistence, community spirit and cooperation with partners, Eyg's 100 residents have transitioned completely off-grid using renewables. Today, the Isle derives 100% of its electricity from solar, wind, and hydro. A microgrid of batteries and backup gensets ensure power always flows. It's a stark change from the past and one that has underpinned new independence, businesses like distilleries, and a thriving community that now owns and manages its future. I proves even the most isolated locales can break from fossil fuels through dedicated grassroots green collaboration a beacon of renewable hope for far-flung places worldwide. Kenyan Village electrifies with microhydro. Across the globe in Kenya's remote Aberdare Highlands, the village of Karima confronted difficulty accessing basic services like phones, lights, or clean water due to lack of grid connectivity. That changed after a chance meeting between villagers and engineers sparked plans to harness the pure mountain rivers flowing around Karima. In 2005, they launched the Aberdare Conservation and Agriculture Project, building a micro-hydro system, tapping the natural pressure head from waterfalls plunging down slopes. Only 50 kilowatts in size, it nonetheless flipped the switch for Karima. By 2010, over 600 homes enjoyed LED lights, charging stations for solar lamps and phones, and incomes grew via power using like welding. The plan not only electrified Karima, but planted seed for dozens of similar community hydro plants across Kenya's highlands in the following years. By cooperating with technical partners, the village has lit its own local path to prosperity through low-carbon renewable stewardship. Their story inspires what community-driven hydro ingenuity can achieve. 
when local people power themselves through sustainable solutions, entire societies transition more quickly and equitably. Here's to many more inspirational clean power initiatives arising across the globe, empowering citizens to grab energy destiny into their own hands. If you enjoyed hearing about empowering communities through cool renewable projects, be sure to like, subscribe and click that bell icon for more energy-inspiring stories ahead. Let's keep the momentum going as we power to a brighter, local green future together.